Hi, I'm Ultimate01, and today I'm going to show you how to import a tag from Halo Custom Edition into Halo Demo or Halo Trial using Eschaton 0.8. Now let me first warn you that you should never rip tags without permission or distribute tags from the full version to people who haven't bought the game. It's illegal, it's a bad idea, just don't do it. That said, let's get started. Open up Eschaton 0.8 going to open corrupted.map. This is a CE map by Mother Goat and Nero Coneza. I got it off of halomaps.org. It's a great resource for learning about Halo CE and getting Halo CE maps. The tag I'm going to use is the wasp. Recursively extract it as normal. Normally if you try and extract a CE tag, you'll get a problem. That's because CE maps have tags that don't actually exist, what we call indexed tags. Sort of like with Harbinger, on a map where you replace those tags, you have the option to either continue, which is essentially nulling out those tags, or to replace. I'm going to choose to replace. When you replace tags, you have the option of internalizing them. If, because a lot of replace tags are bitmaps and sounds, I'm not going to choose that option right now. Normally, you'd want to, especially when importing into demo, but I'm going to show you an option later that avoids that. So I'm just going to replace. I'm going to pick my maps folder for Halo 4. So what it's going to do is it's going to go through all of the maps in there and replace any tags that it needs to. So there we go. Now it extracts them. No problem. So now I'm going to open and expand Halo Demo Blood Gulch. That's the map we want to import into. As usual, it takes a little bit of time as it reads it into memory. Alright, so I'm going to go into Blood Gulch, import all the tags. Do not import duplicates, not a huge deal. Import the tags. Now, as I was saying before, bitmap and sound tags can cause a problem. The reason is, is that they point to data in the bitmaps.map and sounds.map files. They use raw offsets to do this. So, from a different version, where they would want to be pointing to is at a different location. So, if you've ever imported a tag from full into CE maybe, or full into demo, or CE into demo, you get corrupted bitmaps. This is why. But, Eschaton recognizes this and gives you the option to instead internalize. So you have to go to the files that they would originally point to. In this case, all of the bitmaps and sounds were from full because they were replaced. So now I'm going to point them to the full bitmaps and sounds files. And so now it's doing the internalization step and then imports them, and they were imported successfully. Now I'm not going to rebuild just yet, because I want to spawn it. And I'm going to spawn the wasp in the place of the rocket warthog. So to do that, I'm going to use some of the new features. As you can see already, I'm selecting tags that were expanded. It's got two options in tag information. One, tag renaming, not going to get into that. The other is really useful, referencing tags. As I'm sure you're aware of with the reference swapper, there's dependencies. The referencing tags works in reverse. Any tags that have that tag as a dependency show up in the referencing tags section. So I'm going to go into the scenario, its reference swapper, find vehicles, our warthog. There it is. Change that to be vehicles wasp. Swap it, and now go back to the our work on. Now only the globals has it as a dependency. Go in there, find the vehicle again. There it is. Our work on. Change that to the wasp. Swap it. Go back to blood gorge. Rebuild the map, save it as build.map, 
so as not to overwrite anything. And it's writing all the data. And I've rebuilt successfully. I'm going to quit Eschaton because everything's taken care of now. Close that up. Go into Halo Demo. Maps folder. I'm going to rename that to Blood Gulch Original. Rename the built map to Blood Gulch. And open Halo Demo. Slayer. All right, and there it is, right where the warthog would normally spawn. As you can see, there's still some more modding to do, get rid of that missing strings, but works, no problem. No corrupted bitmaps, no special editing, and I'm flying a wasp. So that's just one of the many new features coming in Eschaton 0.8. We hope you have fun with it.